Hi there, my name is Kate and welcome to the quick onboarding of the new Topol app. We're going to take a look around, see what's new in templates, teams, subscriptions and integrations. So let's get to it. Welcome to the new Topol app. First of all, we're going to start at the top. On the left, you can find your personal account and also switch between your teams if you have any and create a new team if you want to. On the right, you're going to find the knowledge base, the notifications and also your account settings. Now, we're going to get through all of those later, so let's get moving. Now, in the templates, you have all of your templates and your folders available. You can easily open one of the folders and go back by just clicking on my templates. Here, you can also switch and move the templates in between files just like that. And if we're going to open one of the templates, just click edit template and it will take you to the editor. Now you already know what to do there, so let's not get to it. But what is available here? You have the actions to rename, set a status, duplicate, download, export or delete the template. And at the top, you also have options to download the template. Now underneath it, you have options to export the template to platforms that you already have connected through integrations. And underneath it, there's option to template testing, which you can get expiring link and send it to your coworker or your boss and also send test email right through here. And lastly, you can also set a template status. Now you can also view the template on mobile and desktop if you just want to see how it looks real quick. Let's move to the plugin settings. Now, not all of you might need plugin settings, but let's get through it real quick. Here you have option to see all of the active domains you have, storage options, and also quick installation packages. So you just copy and paste this information to your platform. Underneath it, there's option to disable plugin if you don't want to use it anymore. And you can also see the data traffic and invoices or subscriptions you have within the plugin. Now underneath, the plugin settings, there's user statistics. Here, you're gonna see all the information about data you used in your templates. So every time someone opens an email, the data traffic locks here, and you can see how the data traffic is developing over time. Now, let's move to integrations. Here, you can find all your active integrations that are currently in use, and also all available integrations now keep in mind that we will be adding more integrations in time, so you can always find new integrations here and you will also be notified by new messages and events. Now let's move to the settings. Here you can set up your profile and also edit preferences. In editor preferences, you can change your language, your theme and also font sizes. And in the profile, you can set your data, profile photo, you can change your password and set up a two-factor authorization to make sure your account is protected. Now here you can also delete the Topol account if you don't want to use it anymore. And in the billing, you can see your pro and plugin subscription and all of your billing info here, but you can also find your invoices and download them real quick from here. All right, so this was the new Topol app. Let us know if you have any feedback or ideas for our next improvements.